completed this collection in a while. I don't know about you, but I thought this was the perfect collection to use when we're talking geometrics. Hello, my name is Nikki and I'm with Nikki's Scrapbooking Adventures. Today we're playing with Through the Rainbow 2.0 where we do the in-betweens. This month we're playing with geometric paper. So if you have some geometric paper in your stash and you're not quite sure how to use it, definitely check out everybody else's playing along down below. So today we're playing with Print Shop and I was thinking in my space, I just don't have a section of geometric paper because I consider geometric paper to be just like a pattern. So I was looking through my collections and I was like, okay, what can I do? And I immediately thought of this collection because look at how many geometric shapes there are in this. You've got some great backgrounds. You've got even some rainbows that you could color in. You've got lines and dots and triangles and arrows, like just so many different options for this paper pad, circles, dots, definitely some geometric items in here. So I encourage you to pull out your print shop. I don't see many people using this collection, although I know it was popular. Um, I personally picked it up because it has some of those darker tones, which I thought was perfect for boy layouts. And we're kind of doing a boy layout, kind of not today. Um, we are using a picture that I just took today because I didn't have a picture, I didn't realize it, but I'm going to backdate it. So the picture I took was of my son's little PlayStation. So during the time that I want to record the story, I was listening to a Montessori style book. Um, and it just talked about how you want the kids to discover things on their own and that kind of thing. And they recommended that you have places for toys and everything in its place. Just kind of like that organizing section. And so that's what I've done is during the story, I went ahead and I bought this little set and it really has helped my home feel more comfortable because right before bedtime, every day, right before nap, my son's routine now is to clean up. You know, we play, we sing the clean up song from Barney, I guess. I, I did not realize it was from Barney, but that's kind of funny. And it just has really transformed the happiness in my home, actually. Um, it has been a great benefit to have a spot for everything and everything in its spot. And one point that they make during this book is that toddlers have a very strong sense of where things need to go. And so you can capitalize on that by doing things like in your daily routine, making sure that you clean up. So that's the story <laughs> for this layout. So it's kind of a boy story, kind of not. Um, I am focusing more on the boy colors, right? The blues, the greens, that kind of thing. And I got inspiration for my layout from Facebook, actually from the Vicki Booten uh, Creative Community. Um, I just searched print shop on here and I kind of scroll through, see what layouts have been created. And I landed on this one. And the things that I love about this are the blocks of paper and then the hexagons, how they look, made it look like honeycomb. I really, really, really like that. So you can kind of see my base page is already forming with some scraps, a so scrap, scrap, scrap. Woohoo, using those scraps, right? And then I went ahead and used another scrap paper, which ended up being the hexagon paper. And I cut it out similar to what they have going on there. So I've got a top piece, a bottom piece. I'm gonna try to line those up as best I can. If I can't, not a big deal. And then a piece that goes kind of like right there. And that's where the inspiration stops. But I just wanna say how gorgeous is that layout? Love the colors. 
Love that they added mixed media to this piece of paper. I think what they did is they used a white piece and then just added mixed media behind it. Honestly, I think that's all they did. Um, I just, I love how that turned out. Now, again, that's where the inspiration stops. <laughs> I kind of went a little crazy on this layout and you'll see what I mean. I'm not going to hear anything, so definitely take a look at the end of the video if that's something you want to see is just the finished product. You can definitely fast forward. So I'm using that sheet of plastic from the Happy Planner that helps you with stickers. And you can see I laid out my title. So Montessori style at home. Now when I do this in person, these letters, like all of those letters are horrible adhesive. So I will need to use some glue to make sure that they're good to go. So then, because I've got this hard plastic, it's going to be super easy for me to slip things underneath. So again, a uh, piece of ephemera. Now one thing I notice about Vicki Booten's style here when it comes to ephemera is they're massive, massive. Like look at how big these glasses are. They are almost four inches wide, the three and a quarter. So by the time that you get done creating your layout or whatever you want to do with it, it gets pretty big. And so I loved the simplicity of their, the original masterpiece layout. However, it's just not going to work. <laughs> that simplicity is not going to be there because a lot of this just gets covered up by what you have. So I also told myself that I really wanted to start using that 49 and market acetate. I have so much of it. It needs to get used. <laughs> so I'm pulling in some acetate leaves from 49 and market and I just love that blue. It just adds a little bit of pop of something something there. Really love that. Okay, second cluster, we're going to go ahead and do where this butterfly is because you kind of already have an idea that that's where a cluster is going to be. Um, I might move my photo over, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to add a little bit of a thing right there as it's holding, kind of holding my photo. Super cute. And then I've got some more flowers here. So flower, acetate piece. Again, to bring that blue from here to here. And I'm using the blues that have a white background so that we can tell that they're actually there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a flower right there. So this is kind of a boy layout, kind of not a boy layout. It's not gonna be under the masculine layout playlist, but if that's something you're interested in, definitely check that out. So then I'm had a little piece of a remnant of a black photo strip. So I'm just going to add this in here because I need a pop of black. And then I covered up the green here. You can kind of see the green here and you can't really see the green there. So I'm just going to add this somewhere along those lines just to get that green from here to here, even though it is kind of like right there. So those are two clusters. I mean, these pieces are massive. I don't know how <laughs> that person got it so they could see the paper underneath because I've totally lost the paper here and here. But that's okay. I'm still using geometric paper. I still really like how this is turning out. So then my last cluster is actually going to go down here and I'm going to try my hardest to show some of that, but it's, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> I've resorted to that. Okay, and then we've got some ink and a pen. I really like this ephemera piece. I just love it. Okay, and then everyday magic is kind of kind of go probably up there somewhere so I can get some of that yellow out there. And then acetate piece for the blue to bring it down is going to go behind both of these pieces kind of popping out. Kind of like might have to go like this. 
I don't know. It, it depends on where my paper lands, but I kind of like this, but I don't want the feather to, or the wing to be off the page. So we'll see how that lands. And then another piece right there, right on top. And then what I'm going to do for my finishing touch, oh, I also have this part. Bring some of that pink down. Um, I've got some of the little star pieces from the thicker set. And I lost my third one. It's somewhere on the floor. Once it hits the floor, it's gone usually. But maybe I'll be able to find it. So we got some green going on from that green there. And then we got a couple different options that I think I'm going to play with. So the these are ombre glitter drops in enchanted forest they're black green and blue and they are gorgeous just really really pretty and i think they encompass the colors that i want on this layout so just really pretty i don't know if these are supposed to be in shakers shakers or what they're supposed to be in or used for but I kind of use them like enamel dots. Now you keep seeing the silver side because they're kind of top heavy. But they'll be glued down with the ombre color. So I think that's the one I'm going to use. The other one I have here is blue, black, and silver. And that's Starry Sky. Which is really pretty too. But I think I need some of that green throughout. So I'm thinking this one. Then the other option I have are just some straight up silver stars. So I got this from Hobby Lobby in a big container. Well, that container had holes in it, and so I had to switch it to a bag. But these stars are a lot of fun on layouts, too. So definitely take a look at the close-ups at the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.